Welcome to this video on what you don't know about Ada Lovelace. In this video, we'll explore the life and legacy of the world's first computer programmer. Ada Lovelace was born in 1815 in London, England. She was the daughter of the poet Lord Byron and mathematician Annabella Milbank, and her upbringing was steeped in science, literature, and the arts. At a young age, Lovelace showed a keen interest in mathematics and science, and she was encouraged by her mother to pursue her passion. She was introduced to the mathematician Charles Babbage in 1833, and she quickly became fascinated by his work on the analytical engine, a machine that could perform complex calculations. Lovelace worked closely with Babbage to develop algorithms for the analytical engine, and in 1843 she published a paper entitled Sketch of the Analytical Engine, with notes from the translator, which included an algorithm for computing Bernoulli numbers. This is considered to be the first computer program ever written, and as a result, Lovelace is often regarded as the world's first computer programmer. But Lovelace's contributions went far beyond her work with the analytical engine. She was a visionary thinker who recognized the potential of computers to do more than just perform calculations. In her writing, she explored the idea that computers could be used to create art, music, and even artificial intelligence. Despite her groundbreaking work, Lovelace's contributions were largely overlooked in her lifetime. It wasn't until the 1950s that her work was rediscovered and recognized as a significant contribution to the field of computing. Today, Ada Lovelace is celebrated as a pioneer in the field of computer science and an inspiration to women in STEM. Her legacy continues to inspire generations of scientists, mathematicians, and computer programmers around the world. So there you have it, some lesser-known facts about Ada Lovelace. We hope you enjoyed learning more about this remarkable woman and her contributions to the world of computing. Thank you for watching.